and when it comes to placements, placements are divided into two parts. You know, first sem placements and second sem placements. But at the same time, there are really, really good companies coming in both semesters. There are companies like Google. I feel it's like the biggest USP of uh, that's like it's a very, very useful thing. You know, like. During coaching and all, professor yeah. used to say, "If you work hard now, uh-huh. you can still in college." So yeah, yeah. it's kind of true. <laughs> at least for me, it's a true. Like, yeah, it's true. Uh... Hello, if you are someone who's preparing for BITSAT 2024, this is going to be a very, very useful video for you because you get to know more about the college that you're going to join. But to be very honest, it's very, very, very difficult to get into computer science, especially at BITS Pilani. You need a lot of practice and a lot of patience as well. This is exactly why we have launched Bitsat Bus Sid this year. Toppers on Bits Pilani like Akhil and Anand and everybody, we've joined together to create some great mock tests for you guys so that you guys can actually ace Bitsat. And why us? Why do you think that we're the best mock test series out there? Because every weekend we'll have sessions where we talk about the mock papers and how you guys can improve individually. So don't miss out on this chance. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys on the other end. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Hari Haran. I'm a final year student at Bits Goa. We have Anand here with us. Anand is a computer science student at Bits Goa. So we'll be guiding you based on like what branches are available and what he's in computer science at Bits Goa. And then we'll be telling you about the advantages in computer science in Bits Goa. What it, Bits is known for its really, really good placements and good brand value alumni network. And then it has got its own concept, you know, high fees and you know, some other things as well. We'll be teaching you how to navigate around these things and at the same time, uh, certain things that you should keep in mind while choosing your colleges. So I just let Anand introduce himself. Uh, hey everyone, I'm Anand, a uh, final year computer science student at Bits Goa. Um, so yeah, in Bits I've uh, done a bit of research, I've explored a bit of industry. So I've done, I worked with professors at CMU, UPenn, and I've also done an industry intern at American Express. So most probably I'll be, I'll be going for my master's after this. So yeah, the point is I've like, explored a bit of both industry and research, so I could give you a bit of advice in both yeah. and like uh, talk about how Bits helps uh, in both areas. Yeah, yeah. and then and what is your J advance? How is the J advance in your Bits at school? Like, can you give us a little intro of that? Yeah, uh, so my Bits at school was 370 out of 450. I think the scale has changed right now, so yeah. Yeah, you'll have to compare with the cutoffs then. Uh, and then J main I had 99.56. And advanced, I had a rank of 5,045. Yeah. And then why do you choose Bits Goa? Why you have other options like IIT and, you know, like, other, and go to NITs in computer science? But why do you choose Bits Goa? I mean, like, if I had a better G advanced rank, a rank of, I don't know, if 2000 or something, I might have chosen IIT Patna series or something like that. Uh, I didn't have that. Uh, and then, so my major options are Bits, NITs, uh, or, you know, non-CS electrical branches are IIT. And I was, like, I wanted cash, so I wanted CS, <laughs> so it was... Uh, not that hard a choice because Bits had better placements than NIT and it also has the brand value of you know being Bits planning yeah. Let's go out with yeah. brackets. Or, yeah, yeah. 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 And the thing is, when I, and the advantage of being in bits is that you get the LMA network of the four other campuses, like you know, like Dubai, Hyderabad, Pilani, and Goa. Dubai being the name. Of Dubai. <laughs> first Dubai. Dubai first priority. Yeah. I'm just joking, guys. Like, like technical good from Dubai, but even then, like, you know, like I think even when you introduced ourselves, even I went for the BGM Bits of Global Meet this year. Even then everybody was like, there was no differentiation among campuses as such. You know, we were all seen as Bits Pilani students. We were all like, we, we all introduced ourselves that we're from Bits Pilani. And, uh, and yeah. when it comes to placements, placements are divided into two parts, you know, first sem placements and second sem placements. But at the same time, there are really, really good companies coming in both semesters. There are companies like Google and Microsoft and Salesforce and Disha. All these companies do come for placements. They do recruit students from BITS campuses. And yeah, and the, one of the most important things about being in BITS is the practice school system. So how is practice school for you? School, I feel it's like the biggest USB of uh, BITS. Like, it's a very, very useful thing. So irrespective of what you, uh, what you plan to do. So for instance, if you're, for, for me, I chose practice school despite being interested in research because I needed a backup of a job and I did not uh, know much of lead code or DSA or whatever you need to get jobs. But BITS takes care of that for you. Like, it brings really good companies for PS and uh, the companies usually, not every company, but a lot of companies have a good PPO rate. So that is pre-placement offer. So I, yeah, I feel like I got a job without much effort, <laughs> like just because of being in bed. So, you know, like during coaching and all, professors yeah. used to say, if you work hard now, uh-huh. you can still in college. So yeah, yeah. it's kind of, like, at least for bits, it's true. Like, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, so American Express is a pretty decent company, at least for my profile. Like I didn't really deserve that thing, but because of being in bits, I got it. Yeah. And that gave me like a lot of, you know, like uh, mentally it freed me like to apply. I could, uh, I already had a backup, so it was uh, like easier to apply for MS, whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. One of the biggest advantages is that you don't really have to go through a coding rounds or processes. Like generally, companies have huge interview process, like three, four rounds of interviews, and then only that after after that they'll select you. But then yeah. it's like purely based on your branch and your CGPA, you'll be allowed at a company. So based on whatever companies are willing to take you for interns, you, you can just shortlist them and just rank them according to whatever the choice you want. Companies, companies. Yeah. Yeah. So the companies like you know Nutanix and there was mm-hmm. Uber. And getting into Uber and stuff just based on CGPA is sort of insane. It's insane, it's yeah. Insane. And there are people who got good amount of PPOs as well. I think this yeah, year, yeah. people. And then if it was otherwise, if it's through placement process, you'll have to be really, really good at competitive coding, okay. and then you have to go through multiple. One of the best program. in the campus. Yeah, like. yeah. And not just that, like there are companies like which come and they don't even take you because you know because you're not really that good in, in certain companies. And it's even difficult to get an interview call in certain companies like right. these. But then bits like you don't even have to give interviews. You're just there, and based on your performance in that internship, six months, which is a really, really good time to prove yourself. You'll be given an option uh, for PPO, and that's what happened with him, and that's what happened with me as well. Like, we both got PPOs from our practice school, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that's there. It also helps with the money aspect. So bits has a high fees, as you guys know. But practice school, you'll be doing an additional internship. So this is separate from the summer intern that you could do. So this thing could uh, you you'll be earning for five months. You'll get pretty good stipends, and that could really help you with if you have a loan or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, American Express almost had a stipend of around like one point two five lakhs, one point two five lakhs, and I had a stipend of around sixty seventy thousand to eighty thousand rupees. So with that, we were able to like have fun, and at the same time, we were able to save and you know pay back our loans and fees, and that in that way it helps a lot. And at the same time. Uh, There are certain companies like Uber which pay you like around 1.5, 1.6 lakhs a month for the work that they do. So I think that is that is insane yeah. just for being an intern. And let's talk about the coding culture at Bits. So I think Bits has one of the most diverse coding cultures out there. There are people who are interested in machine learning, deep learning, these type of things as well, like him. And there are people who are interested in development and open source and GSOC and these type of selections as well. When I was in second year, I think. Bits had Bits Go had the second, third highest number of these sort of selection dates. If I was not wrong, in the year twenty twenty one, I think. I think that's pretty insane. And there are people, there are clubs associated. Also, help usually. Like, How does? These sort usually help. Like. Yeah. So basically, if you're applying for off campus, so generally, GSOC having a GSOC on your profile it really, really uh, helps recruiters shortlist you. So maybe like we can. Uh, GSOC is really useful in that case, and having a track record of. Contributing to really really good organizations is a really good signal for recruiters as well. Like you know, get you know about other software, you know other technologies. So I think in that way, I think it's yeah, pretty. Why is it specifically high in this world? Like, yeah, we have yeah. this thing. So I think that's a uh, what do you say a status sort of thing. In first year itself, there are seniors who come for sessions. They take sessions, and uh, there's a lot of awareness starting from first year. Like this is what is GSOC? What is the advantage of GSOC? So we are started. So they're uh, having. Them guide us, so I think that's very useful. Right. So in, that is true for everything. Like you said, it's very diverse. So you find good people, good batchmates, good seniors doing like everything. So you'll find people doing pretty amazing in research, pretty amazing in development, open source, even competitive coding. So mm-hmm. like it really helps to have you know successful people, successful people around you that are interested in the same things as you. So like he said, seniors like by first year I was like very clear on what all I have to do. On what uh, if I wanted to do research, I had to do these things. Like I had to do all these research internships, maintain a good CG, etc. Like for uh, if I wanted development, like what all things I should do. Like we have a pretty good roadmap, like a pretty good idea on what we have to do, like in first year because of these sessions by seniors. So yeah, that is something. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We also have clubs. Yeah, yeah. I think professors here are really, really smart. Most of them have done a, a strong masters at or a PhD at uh, definitely a PhD at. Really, really good universities. Like you have to do PhD. Then you have to do a PhD, and you need to have some publication. So in that way, they have really, really strong connections with some a lot of professors abroad. <clears throat> some of the profs are really, really accomplished when it comes to research. So maybe when you work with them, <clears throat> something called SOPs, where you can have a semester-long project with them. You can do some semester-long project with them, which really, really helps you when you come when you go for a master's or when you apply for a thesis uh, post your third year. So in that way, I think it's really, really good. I um, I work with a prof called Sagar Dasan. He's one of the really good CS profs over here. So maybe so he had a lot of good connections with professors abroad. I know a friend of mine who worked with Sagar Dasan sir. So he got his thesis undergraduate thesis in Georgia Tech based on the connections that he had with the prof here. So I think in that way, I think it was Krishi Kesh over here, Krishi Kesh who was in computer science. So he's doing his the- remote thesis in Georgia Tech. So he's doing a thesis. There. Yeah, he's doing his thesis over there. 
So the thing with a thesis is that you can choose either a practice school or a thesis. Maybe if you're interested in a master's, maybe a thesis would probably help yeah. in that way. But then you're given a chance, choice of doing a thesis versus a master's. What is the scene at NITs and IITs? Like, do they have to do courses <coughs> in both semesters or fourth? Or uh, do, can um, they do a thesis? I've seen IITs people doing thesis. Yeah, I think there's an option for thesis at IITs, but there's no like practice school as such. I mean, the, if they get... But can they do off-campus thesis? Like... I don't know, MSR or something. Like I think some IITs do have an uh, exchange program or where they can go to some other university and do a thesis or something. I'm not very sure of what happens when it comes to uh, an off-campus thesis. Mm -hmm. We have to check that out. Yeah. But then BITS does have a strong off-campus thesis. A lot of people do thesis abroad. That's definitely there. Yeah. And do you want to add up to this or do you want to go to the cons? Uh, yeah, like, professors, I think you could talk about the courses as well. Yeah, in course in CS. Uh, yeah, so CS course is where and, you know, mind blowing. Like mm -hmm. it was in, like too good, like it was decent enough. So uh, the courses were usually light. They were into project heavy. It didn't take a lot of time. So that could be a good thing or bad thing. It, it's a good thing for learning. Like if I look back, I don't know what exactly I learned. Like I just mm -hmm. studied a lot before the exams and yeah. wrote something and yeah. forgot. <laughs> so that like typical school type learning. Yeah. So I hoped it would be a bit different at this, but. Sadly, it wasn't, but that isn't to say that the professors are bad or anything. Like the class itself, they're decent. Yeah. Like, I did. I think I did learn a few stuff. Maybe <laughs> I forgot. Uh, but uh, some courses were good. Like we also have an option of data science minor, so that you can write it on your CG, and you have pretty decent set of courses from choo you can choose from. And those courses, I feel, were pretty good, at least for me. Mm -hmm. uh, like courses depend a lot on which professor takes, etc. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I could give a proper mm -hmm. summary of it. But I don't know if I had to rate it maybe like seven out of ten. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's true. And maybe do you want to move with the cons or do you want to highlight on some other topic? Uh, yeah, let's go to the cons. Yeah, so I think one of the biggest cons of being in bits is the high fees. But there are certain ways that you can work around it. One of the ways you can work around it is, is by applying the MCN, which is the Merit Come Needs Scholarship, where you can uh, apply for a Merit Come Needs Scholarship if you have a, a, certain, there's a certain income threshold and if you're below that, You'll be eligible to apply for it, and based on your CGPA, you'll be given a certain amount of scholarship. How like tough is it? Like, how much CGPA do you need? I think you, it, it, there's a different different brackets of CGPA. Like, it's like 8.5 plus, and then there's 6, 7 plus, and then there's 6 plus. So, based on that, you'll be different. You'll get a scholarship for getting 6 CGPA. From little, six, little bit more, you won't get full scholarship, but be like around 25% or 20%. There's a different different status of that. Maybe I can make a detailed video about scholarships, but maybe right now I'm not sure, but that does exist. That this does exist. And maybe if you're if you know if you don't come under that income threshold, there's something called merit scholarship in general. So based on your CGPA, and if you're in the top one percent of people in bits in terms of CGPA, yeah. you'll be given a. It's a ninety-nine percent chance you won't get it. Uh, but even then, it's one percent chance that you might. But then based on that, you might you will be given a good, really really good scholarship based on that. Is I think, it like I think only like the one person gets hundred and. I think even if you're in top two percent, you will get forty percent. Yeah, yeah, that is, that's that, very competitive. It's competitive and it's difficult. Yes. Yeah, and fees it's like a pretty pretty big con. So yeah, I think. Yeah. You know, like I don't know if you put two guys with the same potential, one at NIT, one at BITS. Uh, like, do you think they'll end up doing that different career guys? I think there might be because the exposure here is slightly different. The opportunities here are it is a lot different. Yes, right? like we are getting like specific advantages for paying extra. Like we are getting the brand, we are getting the practice school. Practice school. So we are, we are getting advantages, but I'm not really sure if it is worth double the cost or something. That that analysis is something you have to do. So the double cost thing, the I think one thing that really helps with that is practice school. Like you yeah. said, the scholarships. Like I didn't get any scholarship, so I didn't need the income threshold or. Obviously, I was nowhere near the merit scholarship. <laughs> and uh, yeah, scholarships is something it's tough, where it's yeah. tough, so don't rely on that. Yep. Uh, and I think even NITs, IITs will have scholarships, right? So yeah. you could further reduce. Yeah. 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 So obviously, don't choose with over an IIT or something, uh, like computer science. Yeah, computer science. Top uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's what we heard. And Kalani, I'll definitely disagree because it's a relative grading for us. So, well, the competition. You're talking about the grading system, like, you know, like if you get a certain amount of mass above the average, you'll be given a certain grade. And, and it's really based on the. The curve that I've we've seen got. random words are forward saying we are a bit better than Pilani, we are a bit better than or something Hyderabad is best. I, I don't think I think people are just assuming stuff. Okay, maybe. Ah, okay. But so, in general it's not good. Bits were reading like in general if you see it's not good. It's so, yeah, it's it's not in that way. Yeah. yeah, it's bad in that way. But otherwise I think overall I think it's a pretty great experience we had the last four years. And we had a fine year student, we have no reason to like, you know, praise bits because we'll be graduating in like a month. So we have like you don't need to like. Did we praise it that way? Yeah, I think we did. We, <laughs> we did praise it, but then we are being completely honest and genuine. Yeah, and it's, it's not like bits of variety or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will do that. It's our genuine, honest feedback from our last yeah, four years. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like worth the fees. 
for you? Yeah, I think yeah. In terms of ROI, definitely. I think those CS people they get a decent ROI generally. Yeah, CS medium placements are usually twenty five lakhs. Around twenty five. So you get yes, a really yeah. good ROI. So that in that way it helps. What else? I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel, and if you do like it, share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's hot. 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 It's